Good morning guys, welcome back to the Lit Shop. It's Saturday morning, I got my coffee. And I set myself a 48 hour challenge for this weekend. And the challenge is not with my car, but with this car. Damn, that's yellow. But I set myself a challenge for 48 hours with this Civic because the rear quarters have rust like any other Civic and any other Japanese car from the 90s and this side is even worse. So I set myself a challenge to change both quarter panels in 48 hours. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it but the goal is that I am gonna make it. And I don't have to do all the Bondo and painting stuff because that's gonna be done by someone else. I just need to do the welding. So I got two replacement fenders left and right and I'm gonna cut them out, clean it up on the inside and while the new ones in make it all weatherproof and that should be good for another 10 years or so i think i'm gonna move it a little bit more forward i'm not gonna use the lift i think no that's gonna be in the way no i'm not gonna use the lift i'm gonna do it on the floor but the jack stands are still under the crx barn find hmm yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but i'm gonna move it forward and put it up in the air and i'm gonna start cutting and making the new panels ready to weld in. So without further ado, let's get started. Sit back, enjoy, and if you haven't already, subscribe down below. Trust me, I'm a pro. I think that's the right expression. So now that we've got the car up in the air and I'm already sweating like crazy because it's really hot this week and today is no exception. It's really hot, but we're gonna work anyway because it needs to be done. So I think the game plan is take the rear bumper off, take the wheels off, and then I can assess the damage and see what I exactly need to replace and I think then it's just time to start cutting. So now it's actually time to start cutting. I'm gonna cut a little bit above the wheel well because we got a lot more with the new panels. I got a lot of playroom and I always like to keep it as low as possible because these lines without any bends in them if you're gonna weld them over there it is gonna warp and that sucks so i always cut a little bit so i can assess the damage inside and then later i can uh, make a decision where i'm gonna cut and then i'm gonna cut that one put it over there trace the line and cut that one shoot fit Okay, let's see if we can get it off. I must say there is a lot of Bondo on here. So somebody already tried to fix the rust, but the cheap way. And now we are gonna do it the right way. Can we split it or not? That's not good. I don't know what's in there, but it looks a bit weird. It looks like some, some sort of green glue. And we got some white glue. The white glue could be factory, but I don't think green glue is factory. And of course the rust ain't factory. So it's pretty rusty underneath. And I thought it would be a bit better. Just look at that. Yeah, it was definitely needed a little rust fix god damn it i just ripped off the whole back corner here it's all completely rusted out oh my god can i just rip it off well apparently yes i can god damn it I think I'm gonna just cut out some more till I find some good metal that I can work with and then I know how much I need to replace because this is all really bad. Right, so game plan. 
I trace the line on the replacement panel and I'm gonna cut at that line so that I don't uh, use as much. I use as little as possible so it is all as small as possible and it can warp as minimal as possible. I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. Then I can place it on the car itself, trace the line over there, then cut the car itself and I can fix uh, the inner wheel well, get all the rust out of there, prepare everything and then weld the new piece in there and then it should be good. So this is all ready to weld the arch back on. I sprayed the inside with zinc spray. Everything that's still there isn't rotted. It's not rusted. It had just a little bit of surface rust so I took that away. Sprayed it with zinc spray and now it's ready to weld. And the arch itself is outside in the sun drying because that has got zinc spray as well. So everything is already protected and when I'm done welding I can take out the interior pieces that are behind there. I can take it all out and then I can grind and spray the inside so everything is safe and clean and good to go for another 5 to 10 years. The inside arch is filled with a nice layer of zinc spray so now it's time to weld it on and the outside and inside are actually galvanized so that helps uh, protect against rust but I uh, ground the edge that I need to weld because galvanization doesn't weld pretty well and it's essentially a dirty weld so we don't want that. I got it all off and now it's ready to weld in. So let's hope I know what I'm doing and I hope it doesn't warp and it all works. So without further ado, let's weld the arch on. So I got the arch all tacked up and it fits really nice and I'm really happy with the bumper gap. Comes out perfectly and I got my air gun thing ready because you need to cool it really good otherwise it's gonna warp. So I'm gonna weld a little piece, then cool it down, weld a little piece, cool it down, and I'm gonna switch positions so all the heat gets uh, distributed even, evenly and I can cool it down in, in between welds. I haven't picked up the camera in a while and thank you Amber for the last shots because I wasn't thinking about filming, I was thinking about grinding and welding. Talking about grinding, what a grind. I started at 9am and it's 11pm exactly at the moment but one side is done and I'm really happy with the end result. It fits up so nice and I think this is one of the best rust repairs I've ever done. The fitment is perfect, I don't have any warpage at all so painter i hope you're happy because there's gonna be minimal bondo even less than i was on before so yeah i am just really happy with the end result and i think that's fair for 15 hours straight and yeah that may be quite long for well, i don't know is that long comment down below if you think 15 hours for a really good uh arch replace repair civic safe thing is long or not i think 
it's quite okay and the end result is really good so I don't think that 15 hours is too long yes it is quite long even for damn I'm dirty so my plan now is to keep on going <laughs> you know me I, I can't stop I want to cut out the other side so I know how bad it is and I know if I can go to sleep now this side didn't look that bad but I found out that there was a bit of damage and they uh, repaired it uh, by pulling the fender out and I think that's why the layers separated and again we got the layers, layers rust but the layers separated a little bit and moisture got in there and it started rusting and it was more rusted on the inside than it was on the outside but this one is more rusted on the outside so I hope it is just paint damage and I hope it doesn't come from the inside, but I've been doing this long enough to know that it comes from the inside. But how bad is it? That's the question. So I'm going to cut it and we'll see. And then I can uh, make up my mind what I'm going to do with sleep and waking up. It's pretty rusty and we got the same panel bonding here so I think it might be factory but I don't really believe that let's use my strong hand oh god oh god oh god did somebody lose a piece of a Civic <laughs> on the pile god damn it and I'm so happy I recently got my tetanus shot god damn it Come on, let go of the Civic. Civic doesn't want you anymore. Let it go. No, don't go there. Oh, yeah, here we got another piece. On the pile. Just to prove how bad it is, this looks like a rusted piece of inner wheel well, doesn't it? Psych. It's just pieces of rust. Bonded to panel bonding or somebody did what I am doing, but way worse. I don't know what it is, but this pile Proves that it is really rusty and really bad It's currently almost 12 p.m. I cut this side It's really bad But I am really tired. So I'm gonna get a shower and I'm gonna go to bed and my gas is almost out on the welder so that's good. Maybe I can go to CVS and steal their bottle. Hmm. Um, 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 maybe don't do that. Maybe not. Don't tell them. But yeah, this is going to be it for me for tonight. I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning. We're back. It's 9 a.m. on a Sunday. Our regular rust is being fixed. We're back. It's early. Didn't sleep very well, but that's okay. I got my coffee and I got a monster. I got more monsters, so should be fine. But game plan. I am just gonna take my time and leave the camera while cutting out all the rust because you have seen it on the other side, and I don't think it's really interesting. If you see it twice, even though this is worse, it's going to be the same thing, cutting it out, seeing what good metal we got left and then make a game plan how we're going to work with it. So yeah, I'm just going to enjoy my coffee and then I'll pick you guys back up when I uh, took out some rust and I know what I'm going to do from here. A few minutes later. So this is the canvas that I'm left with and there is not much uh, metal left. Luckily the brace is not rusted so that's the strongest point that needs to be good. And that's not rusted at all. But everything else I need to cut out because it was all completely rotted away. So now I can start with making the new piece fit and it actually already fits pretty good. So I need to get all the paint off so I can weld. 
And you know that I hate layers, so I'm not gonna weld it uh, like it is OEM. Because OEM, this uh, edge follows all the way through to the bottom. And then uh, the other panel, the over panel, sits against it. And I don't like that because then you got a crevice where moisture can get in and it's gonna rust anyway. So I always weld the arch on first. And then I make some plating that goes from here to the arch, weld it to the arch, weld it to there. Seam sealer on the out and inside. And then it should be good for multiple more years. So let's get rid of the paint. Voila! All the paint is off. So now it's time to weld on the arch. And you've already seen that on the other side. So I don't think I'm gonna film it because why would you watch the same thing twice? I don't know, maybe you want to. Then just rewind. <laughs> I just checked and the fender fits. It's not gonna sit as it is right now because it's just held on by pressure and shifted a little bit but it fits if it's nice no big gaps so now i'm gonna uh, clean the backside, spray it with zinc spray and then it can be welded on i'm actually loving the fitment on this side the fitment is way better it's all so nice and clean and perfect and look at the bumper fitment on this side it's perfect as well really proud of what i've done here now i just need to weld it up and pray to god that it doesn't warp because the other side is also still very straight, no warpage at all. So let's pray that I can do it on this side as well. Let's get to welding. So this side is all welded. Wait, this doesn't look too pretty. Let me fix that. Yeah, that looks way better. All the welds are ground down. They are all smooth. There's almost no warpage at this side. Almost none. I don't know if you can see with the light. But the light goes pretty straight all the way. And even down. But there we got a little warpage. You see? You see the light moving? That's actually the only warpage we have and seeing that this car has had some damage because I can see all the points from pulling the fenders and I saw some old welds so I don't feel too bad that it warped a little bit on this side because it's probably not even my fault it's probably just all the other work that has been done to it why it wanted to pull and warp so yeah it sucks but it's not too bad and the rest is just all perfect just like the other side Bumper fits perfect. So now it's time to get it on a lift and make the wheel welds ready and spray some primer on there. It's two days later now and uh, while editing this video I found out that I didn't have an outro and I didn't even show you the end result because Sunday after welding uh, I was pretty tired and uh, I did make it in the 48 hours though. That has to be said I did make it in the 48 hours. But the thing is, I wanted to give the primer and the uh, panel bonding enough time to cure in between layers. So that's why it is two days later, but the car is done. Well, the car is not done, but the quarter panels are done and they look good. So let's have a look. So good and I'm so happy with the end result I hope the owner is as well I still need to do some other small things to the car that I'm not gonna film because they're not interesting at all and I got another video plan for this weekend so I'm gonna film that and not this so the car cannot go off the lift yet but I think the ending is still good because yes I did make it in 48 hours that was the challenge both fenders are replaced and as you can see the inside and outside are all nice and protected sprayed and primer and somebody else is going to do the bodywork and the painting the whole car gets painted and i think it's going to stay yellow and i like that i like a yellow civic hmm or baby blue i've said too much without saying quite enough but 
It's gonna end here. This is gonna be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys at the next one. Yeah, this is what I mean with it ain't too good. It's pretty rusty. Come on, focus. Uh -oh. Completely rotted away. Oh, I'm